There are some people that swear by skincare products and there are also a lot of skeptical people that just say it's a scam and it's a waste of money. So what is the truth? The truth boils down to these two things. Number one, your expectations. And number two, how a product has been formulated. The definition that the FDA gives of a cosmetic is a product that is able to clean, beautify, and reduce the appearance of, for example, wrinkles. If we see skincare products like this, meaning products that are going to keep our skin healthy, soft, hydrated and help a little bit removing or softening some skin issues that we have like wrinkles or uh, hyperpigmentation, when we see skincare products under this light they definitely work as long as they are properly formulated which is point number two but going back to point number one when our expectations are too much then of course we will be disappointed and we're gonna go around saying that skincare products don't work. What I mean by unrealistic expectation is to, for example, expect that a product is going to make you look 10 years younger or their product in a jar is going to work just as much as Botox. Cosmetic companies have made exaggerated claims for years and years and years and have basically misled a lot of people and to the point that some people when they didn't see the results that they were expecting they were just like fuck it, it, don't, it doesn't work. Moving forward with point number two and point number two is something that I really care about because I am like I said a cosmetic formulator. The internet is always uh, um, highlighting the uh, certain ingredients, uh, hyaluronic acid, retinol, niacinamide, but the truth is that uh, these ingredients by themselves uh, are not gonna do anything. We need to put them in a condition for them to actually work. And these conditions, this set of conditions, it's the formula. The formula has the main purpose of delivering these ingredients to the skin. The, when I say delivering, the first thing that comes to my mind is that, yeah, this these ingredients actually have to reach their site where they're gonna work. So in terms of the skin, this means that they actually have to penetrate the skin. Now, we do not expect them to penetrate so deep that they go into the bloodstream, but still they have to be able to pass through at least the first layer of the skin. It is not enough that they penetrate the skin, they also need to reach this, their site of action in a considerable amount because every chemical or ingredient has a, a dose below which you won't see any result and above this dose you're gonna have irritation or side effects so it's important that um, we deliver these ingredients to the site we deliver in the right um, amount third thing that it's important is that we deliver these ingredients in a way that they can actually work this uh, has to do a lot with chemical structure and this is just um, a field that has always been very fascinating for me. Uh, my favorite subject in college has always been medicinal chemistry. Um, that is a science, that is the kind of chemistry that really explain how molecules to be able to interact with other molecules need to have the right chemical structure and also the right 3D shape. I understand not everyone into, is into this kind of stuff, so 
I'm just gonna go straight to the point. Basically, let's take for example retinol. Retinol is not the active uh, molecule that's giving you results. Retinol must be converted into retinoic acid and that is what works for wrinkles. So basically, we, there are different steps. We have to first make sure that the retinol is passing the skin, going um, into their dermis then we have to make sure that the amount of retinol that reaches the dermis is enough to work and then we have to make sure that the retinol gets converted into retinoic um, acid so you see that this is not just about slapping ingredients on your face the whole formulation subject can um, get um, quite complex. As a pharmacist, I've been studying a lot how um, topically administered drugs are absorbed um, through the skin and that makes me confident into formulating cosmetics that work the same way. This formula must contain some ingredients that are called penetration enhancers um, the most common one is alcohol, which however is very drying for the skin, so I don't use it, but it works really well. Other ones are uh, fatty acids, uh, fatty alcohols uh, and polysorbate. Also some glycols like propanediol, propylene glycol, when you see them on the label, they, are, uh, um, they have a double function, so they um, help with penetration and also help with skin hydration. Skin hydration is another important factor because the more the skin is hydrated, the, the more it's working properly and so it is receptive to absorbing uh, the creams that you put on your face. Another factor that's really important that can have uh, and can impact um, skin penetration um, is uh, the temperature. So when it's hot and humid, it's easier for a molecule to pass through the skin. To summarize all this, I hope I was able to convey you how important is the formulation, which for you basically means only buy from reputable brands, because uh, it's very easy to find um, products that have not been formulated by a professional, and so they might contain the best uh, or trending ingredients but they won't do anything on your skin. The last thing that I want to point out is that because going through passing the skin barrier is a slow and complex process, it is better not to layer together more than three or four products at one because that's just going to make it even more complicated. So what I usually do is that I would uh, wash my face, apply the hyaluronic acid, then pause, go do something else. I can uh, brush my hair, teeth, then go back, apply the moisturizer and the SPF or another serum, whatever I'm choosing that day. And then pause again, go get dressed, and finally going back and applying my makeup or my last layer of skincare. So give your skin enough time to absorb the ingredients that you keep providing it and uh, try to limit as much as possible the amount of products you are using. This is it for this video. I hope it was useful. Please, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Woo! <laughs>